Have you ever felt nervous or gotten anxious when it was time to communicate with one of your prospects? Do you get anxiety when it comes time to get on the phone and have a sales call or on Zoom and have a sales call? Um, I'll tell you, we all have. Like anybody that has attempted sales that has any sense of like social, I don't know, just like just like social norms and not trying to pressure people into things. Um, and especially if you've been indoctrinated into the way that sales is treated in media, in our culture, I am sure that you have had anxiety when it comes to sales calls. Uh, but the reality is that if you do sales the right way, like if you do sales in a way that is of the benefit um, of, of benefit to you, to your prospect, to the whole market, to, to the whole world, then you don't have to be anxious because you're actually not forcing somebody to do something that they don't want to do. The right way to do sales involves actually helping. It involves being on the same team with your prospect and figuring out if your solution is their solution to their problem, to their challenge, whatever they're facing. So number one, um, it really helps to have a good product or service that is a legitimate solution to the problems faced by a large enough segment of the marketplace. Now, what does large enough mean? It basically means that there's enough buyers that um, that that you can just keep selling and keep selling and keep selling. Not that it's not that it's um, you know it doesn't have to be a billion dollar market if your goal is to make two hundred thousand dollars a year and there's plenty of of prospects out there for what you're doing. Right. So big enough market is is very relative. But the important part of that is you have a great solution to a problem that your prospect faces. And and so at that point, I have a great solution. I have a great solution for you. I, I want to help you out with this solution, the solution. I believe that if you have the problem that I've defined that maps to my solution, that I can help you. Right. And in that case, sales is not about me trying to force you to do something. It's not about me trying to manipulate you or hard sell or close you, whatever, right? Sales is about how do I talk to this person in a way that figures out if they have the problem that I can solve and if they're open to me solving it. Um, and so actually, um, one thing I should have said at the top of this video, this is in response to a, a, a subscriber question, said, Roy, I'm nervous when it comes to selling. What suggestions do you have to reduce anxiety for sales calls? Thanks, S. So that's what we're talking about. So when it comes time to actually like be on, on the phone or on Zoom or on whatever communication medium with your prospect, your job is to qualify them and to disqualify them. That is to figure out if they have the problem or don't have the problem, if, they, if they're facing the challenge or are not facing the challenge. And further, maybe they have like the symptoms of the problem and it looks like they have the problem, right? The, the challenge, whatever it is that, that you can help them solve, but maybe they're not ready or maybe it's not bugging them enough to take action on it. So they're not ready to like leap in both feet, you know, hire you for whatever it is that you do. Um, in which case you're trying to qualify or disqualify? Is this something where they feel like something has to change, um, that, that they need to get on it and they need to do it now? Like, um, how ready are they to have this problem done? And so again, qualifying, disqualifying, do they, do they face this challenge? Is it, is it currently agitating to them? Do they currently have a, a different solution that um, might be a valid solution to the problem? Like, is there, for the most part, people are not going to be on a sales call with you unless they are, are, are feeling like other solutions that they've tried have not worked or are not, you know, getting them the result that they hope for. So are other solutions invalid? Does the solution that they want, that they desire, line up with your solution? So like what, you know, what is, what is, the solution that they desire. What do they think the solution has to contain? And is that a map to your offer, right? Um, so we're, we're just walking, th we're walking through my PISA formula, problem, agitate, invalidate, solve, and then action or ask. Then like assuming, yes, they have the problem, right? We disqualified everybody who doesn't have the problem or challenge or want the opportunity. Um, we kick them out, right? You have to be be just as willing to say you're not a fit as you are a fit if you're in sales. So do they have the problem? Do they have the challenge? Um, is it currently agitating enough that they want to solve it? 
Um, have they tried other solutions and found them invalid or they just don't have a valid solution yet? Um, are, they, are they looking for a solution that is like yours? It could be that they're looking for a do-it-yourself solution that costs under 100 bucks and your only solution is a $20,000 like done-for-you system, right? And you're never going to sell that person. Um, I shouldn't say never, but it's highly unlikely that you're going to sell that person. And so trying to force them through if the solution that they're looking for doesn't match yours is, you know, not not generally going to feel very good. So you're feeling anxiety around that. And then action. Hey, are you ready to take action? Now, if you've if you've hit the problem, the agitate, the invalidate, the solve or solution, and then you get to this action step, they're pretty much ready to go. And so it's it's just a matter of of like putting whatever is I, like the ideal solution in front of them and saying, hey, let's go, right? Uh, let's dive in. And when you can do that, like it's it's very easy for them to say yes. And uh, I find that most of the time when people have anxiety related to, phone, uh, related to sales calls, it's because they're trying to like force a solution on their prospects. They're trying to manipulate. They're trying to be this like salesperson that's like schemey, slimy, whatever. And that's not that's not really good sales and that's actually going to turn off way, way more prospects um, than you might imagine today like most people are very very savvy to that and most people are very savvy to the fact that they can hang up the phone on you they can they don't have to answer your phone calls they don't have to respond to your messages they can just block you right and um, so you're much better off working with them to help them identify if your solution is their solution and if that's the case then you just tell them how to get started. And um, it, it's it's so low pressure that once you get into a call like this and you're really focused on them and their needs and like what their journey and what they've gone through and how like what do these challenges feel like to them and how important is it for them to solve them? There's there's very little anxiety because you're you're just operating from the heart and you are helping them. You're helping them out. And um, I think that you'll find just a little bit of practice doing sales this way, just a little bit of practice is going to completely transform your feelings about sales. And, and the anxiety level is going to go down dramatically because you're not trying to force somebody or do something uncomfortable. You're trying to help somebody and helping someone feels good. And you'll actually feel good making, phone, making sales calls. Um, and... So that's my recommendation for you. If you're nervous when it comes to selling, uh, focus on your prospect. Focus on their challenges and how you can help them solve them. Focus on getting them the outcome that they want. And the selling part becomes much, much easier. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 how valuable you found this perspective, this recommendation, and why. What are your biggest takeaways or action items as a result of watching? Also, tap that like button before you go so you get more content like this delivered to you. And so the magical algorithms of the internet know to share it with more people like you who will find it valuable. You can certainly share it with folks directly. And subscribe before you go. Subscribe here. You can also go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com to get my daily emails Monday through Friday, including these videos and exclusive content content for email subscribers. My name is Roy Fur. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. And hey, um, if part of the reason you're doing selling is because you have a client business or you're trying to launch a client business and you want to really get comfortable with that um, that sales process that I just walked through, I'll include a link in the description to my Launch Your Client Business free mini course. And, um, and, and it's going to walk through all the important steps and milestones of launching your client business. It's completely free, three episodes. You'll get it over the next couple days. Um, sign up for it there. You'll also get the Breakthrough Marketing Secrets if you're not yet a subscriber. And It'll go into this and it'll go into all the details, including like how to structure that offer and, and so on, and um, give you kind of next steps to get started. So again, Roy Fur for Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Check out the links in the description. I always aim for 10 out of 10 value. I hope that I've delivered that here and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video issue. I'll see you soon. Bye.